Today I'll walk you through designing a project with our GFT ground mount system in U-Builder. I'm going to use the map in order to demonstrate this. You want to enter your location into the map search bar and select from the options that Google or Bing Maps gives you. You can zoom into the area to design. As you review the inputs for your project, ensure that you double check with ASCE 7 code for the proper inputs and with your local jurisdiction for their requirements. You can select the geometry options that you would like for the GFT, including our shared rail design, four rail, or in cases of very high wind and snow, even five and six rails. You can choose from a variety of foundation types and foundation diameters for cast in place concrete. In this case, I'll select the driven pile. Select the draw shape icon to outline your design area. You can define more than one design area for each project that you work on. When you're in edit mode, you can use the control points to fine tune the outline of your site area. Then you'll click the plus button to add modules to this site area. Select the first table size that you want to design with. You can always come back and change table sizes, add various table sizes to your project, even in the same site area. You click to drag, or you can simply click for a single table. In this example, I'll set these tables off to the side. But then I'm not happy with that layout. And so I can choose the remove module option, and I can simply click and drag to get rid of all of the modules that I don't want. And then I can go back into add module mode, snap it into place so that it aligns with previous tables, and I can click to drag more tables. By clicking outside of that site area, it takes me back to the first page, and I can either click continue at the bottom or the parts list button up at the top. Here I can choose rail options, and I can use the other menus to be able to select accessories for my project. I then hit continue, and this brings me to the output. In three minutes, my project is designed, and now I can review the output reports, the bill of materials, the engineering report, and then the layout. The engineering report gives me a summary of the inputs, and then it gives me the geometry and the load summaries for each of the table sizes that were designed. The layout portion of the report gives me a top-down view of my overall site. There are a lot of useful documents in this left menu. I want to show you the GFT construction drawings This PDF is downloadable, and it's something that you can use to help in the field with installation, as well as in your permitting documentation. It shows all of the geometry, the parts, the rail configuration options, and even goes into the foundation options.